what's happening, man? <laughs> what it do? Right, the Twilight Zone, man. Massachusetts, Dateline, Massachusetts. John T. Nichols Jr. Middle School. <laughs> Dateline, Massachusetts. John T. Nichols Jr. Middle School. We have Liam Morrison. Ooh. Liam Morrison. In the seventh, tenth grade at Nichols Middle School, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. I never thought that the shirt I wore to school on March 21st would lead me to speak with you today. On that Tuesday morning, I was taken out of gym class to sit down with two adults for what turned out to be a very uncomfortable talk. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that my shirt was making some students feel unsafe. Yes, words on a shirt made people feel unsafe. They told me that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I told, I was told that I would need to remove my shirt before I could return to class. When I nicely told them that I didn't want to do that, they called my father. Thankfully, my dad supported my, my decisions and came to pick me up. What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. No one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I let, let me fix that for you, kid. Let me fix that for you. You don't say anything when you see pride flags and in trans genocide posters all over the world, diversity stuff all over the place. You don't say anything when you see that stuff, man. Not because you're virtuous, man. Not because, you know, you just believe that everybody has a right to their opinion. You don't say anything because if you say something about that stuff, you think you're in trouble for wearing a shirt that say two genders. <laughs> Complain about pride flags all over the school and trans propaganda all over the school. Complain about that. We just did a story the other day on Rumble, man. A trans kid beat, I mean, he curb stomped a girl, a black girl, in front of like a hundred people outside of a school. In front of teachers and students, because she said that he, she didn't want him in the, in, the, in, the, in the ladies' room. He beat her ass in front of a hundred people. The video is all over the place. So I think this kid is lying right here when he says he doesn't say anything about that um, pride flags and all the LGBT trans stuff they putting all over the school. He doesn't say anything about that because that will get you effed up. Ask Riley Gaines. Ask Riley Gaines. posters hung throughout the school by my rights. I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. No one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I was wearing. 
Actually, just the opposite. Several kids told me that they supported my actions and that they wanted one too. I experienced, wait, no. I was told that the shirt was a disruption to learning. No one got up and stormed out of class. No one burst into tears. I'm sure I would have noticed if they had. I experienced disruptions to my learning every day. Kids acting out in class are a disruption, yet nothing is done. Why do the rules apply to one, yet not another? I feel like these adults were telling me that. Kids acting out in class, and yet nothing is done. Well, that's because the majority of the time, man, a kid acting out in class is going to be from a protected class. <laughs> the kid acting out in class is higher on the, the diversity chart than you, man. <laughs> more times than that man that's why they allow kids to act out in class but you can't wear a shirt that says two genders salute to my man eric s man coming through getting it popping um yeah this kid's this kid's a liar man that's his second lie i caught him in man <laughs> god just shame on this kid, man. Just lie all over the place. Experience disruptions to my learning every day. Kids acting out in class are a disruption, yet nothing is done. Why do the rules apply to one, yet not another? I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. I know that I have a right to wear those five, the shirt with those five words. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school, this right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. My hope in being here tonight is to bring the school committee's attention to this issue. I hope that you will speak up for the rest of us so we can express ourselves without being pulled out of class. Next time, it may not only be me. There might be more students that decide to speak out. Thank you for your This kid says it's a lot of kids that felt the way he felt. He, some kids pulled him to the side and said, you know what, man, you're right, man. <laughs> there are only two genders, man. So salute to this. Um, salute to um, Gil B coming through, man, once again, man. Yeah, they are in danger, man. They said there are two genders. Yeah, you're in danger for saying that. It seems like the only really ones that will kick your ass is the um sun transgenders, the sun genders. <laughs> Wasn't it? Somebody help me out. Wasn't it a sun gender that was like the main one attacking Riley Gaines at that college? I think it was a sun gender, a fat sun gender. And it's a um and it's and it was a sun gender that curb stomped that girl for saying for telling them not to come in the ladies' room. I think um even in the even in that community, man, <laughs> DNA, man. <laughs> DNA is holding the line, man. <laughs> DNA is holding the line in that community, man. Even in that community, man. And if you haven't, make sure you check out my latest single. The link is in the description box. I think some of you have heard it. But my latest single... Link is in now. Nah, link is in a pinned comment in the chat. That's what I meant to say. The link is in a pinned comment in the chat. So for you guys that enjoy music, man, you can take a minute to to hear that. Um, oh, so yeah, there you have it, man. This kid, he's he's in deep trouble, man.
No one will stand with this kid, man. That's the funny thing about it. No one will stand with this kid. You know, like, no, 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 no athletes gonna come and say, "Hey, man, you're right." 